What, what do you believe is indeed next for both the U.S. and North Korea? So I think following up with this, there will be continuing talks between North Korea and the United States. Hopefully there will be a little bit more clarity on what the two countries mean by denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. There's been a lot of commentary already about how the four points in the joint statement yesterday um, were a little bit light on details, particularly with regard to any verification process that would be necessary for North Korea to dismantle its nuclear weapons program. I think first and foremost, the United States should ask for um, a list, uh, a declaration from North Korea that lists all of its nuclear weapons, its nuclear weapons facilities, uh, the technology, the scientists that are involved, um, also any ballistic missiles and launch vehicles that are a part of the program. I think there's a lot to be covered mm -hmm. in the next few months. Um, and then Trump has said that uh, he may invite the North Korean leader to come to the United States at some point in the fall. Uh, so we'll be on the lookout for that as well. North Korea historically has been very good about promising things, Lisa. Not so good about carrying through on those promises. Do you believe that they will ultimately do anything that they may have agreed to? Well, that's a very good question. Um, I tend to be a little bit more pessimistic than some others. I do think that Kim Jong-un is different from his father and his grandfather. We'll get, we're going to have to see how much he really wants this. I think the upcoming talks will determine uh, to a great extent how much Kim Jong-un has been affected by his summit with Trump and whether or not he really is pushing for change now at this moment. Yeah, he was educated in Switzerland. You could, it's, it's obvious that he does indeed speak English. Do you think that he ultimately would like to be a little more closely associated with the West? Well, I don't know if he wants to be associated with the West, but he clearly wants to be a more modern leader. Uh, that's evident by the diplomatic um, diplomacy that he's been doing with countries like China and South Korea in the last couple months. He's trying to project a different image for himself and for his country. Uh, he doesn't want to be known as a leader of a pariah state, one that's um, very backward in its economy and its, and its social system. And so I think he's probably trying to change that image and whether or not he thinks that can be done uh, through negotiations with the United States and by getting rid of his nuclear weapons program piece by piece. Uh, I think we'll have to see. I find it very hard to believe that they will give up uh, a whole chunk of concessions at the very beginning of these talks. That's something the North Koreans simply have not done in the past. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.